Welcome back, guys. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 9.2, the sign rule. 9.2 represents chapter 9, section 2 of the paper in A Level Mass, Pure Mass Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Consider the following triangle capital A, capital B, capital C represent angles, lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase c represent sides. Notice that lowercase a is opposite capital A, lowercase b is opposite capital B, and lowercase c is opposite capital C. This is a very important part of the labelling process. The sign rule is as follows. Sine capital A over lowercase a is equal to sine capital B over lowercase b, which is also equal to sine capital C over lowercase c. If we take the reciprocal of each side, we get the following result. Again, bearings, key facts. Number one, measured from the north line. Okay. And number two, measured clockwise. Number three, written in three figures. For example, 56 degrees is written as 056. This was covered in my teaching video 9.1, the cosine rule. So these are the key facts of 9.2, the sine rule. I'll be implementing these key facts within exam style questions. Let's have a look at exam style question one. Town B is six kilometers on a bearing of 20 degrees from town A. Town C is located on a bearing of 55 degrees from town A and on a bearing of 120 degrees from town B. Work out the distance of town C from part A, town A, part B, town B. So I'm going to start by drawing a diagram to illustrate this particular exam style question. Ladies and gents, here is my diagram. So now I'm going to explain how I got my diagram. If I go back to the question, it says, town B is six kilometers on a bearing of 20 degrees from town A. So from town A, which is over here, we have to draw a north line and we have to measure an angle of 20 degrees going clockwise to town B. And the distance from A to B has to be six kilometers. Town C is located on a bearing of 55 degrees from town A and on a bearing of 120 degrees from town B. So from town B, we draw a north line and we measure an angle of 120 degrees going clockwise to town C. From town A, we draw a north line and we measure an angle of 55 degrees going clockwise to town C. Since this part over here is 20, this gap over here has to be 55 take away 20, which is 35 degrees. So that there, ladies and gents, is my diagram explained. Okay, so this part over here is the distance A to C. Now we can annotate the diagram. We can actually go back to this north line and extend it. We know that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So this part over here is 120. This one here has to be 180 take away 120, which is 60 degrees. We also have alternate angles, Z angles. Alternate angles are equal, so if this is 20 degrees, this part over here has to be 20 degrees. So that combined angle is basically 80 degrees. So we've got 80 here, we've got 35 here. We can actually work out this particular angle because we know that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we can do 180, take away 35, take away 80 to give us this particular angle, which is 65 degrees. Okay, right. Now, work out the distance of town C from town A and then the distance of town C from town B. Okay, so that distance there. Let's start off with this distance over here. Let's call it lowercase b. And this distance over here, let's call it lowercase a. Remember, the lowercase a is opposite the angle capital A and the lowercase b is opposite the angle capital B. So in part A, we want the distance of C from A, so we want to work out B. We're going to apply the sine rule. So for part A, we can start off by writing B over sine of the angle 80 degrees. This has to equal, for example, 6 over sine 65 degrees. Okay, so B is going to equal 6 over sine 65 degrees multiplied by sine 80 degrees. Okay, right, so I can put this into my calculator and round off to three significant figures. So if I do this, ladies and gents, I get B equal 6.52 kilometers. 
to three significant figures. Okay, so that's part A done. I've worked out B, which is equal to 6.52 kilometers to three significant figures. Now, in part B, we want to work out the distance of town C from town B. So distance of town C from town B, that will be A. Okay, so we can use the sign rule again to work out A. We can write the following. A over sine 35 degrees has to equal, for example, 6 over sine 65 degrees. So A is equal 6 over sine 65 degrees multiplied by sine 35 degrees. So I can put this into my calculator and round it off to three significant figures. So I've got A equal to 3.80 kilometers to three significant figures. So we've got A equal to 3.80 kilometers to three significant figures. So that there, ladies and gents, completes the exam style question. Moving on to exam style question two. In triangle ABC, AB is equal to X centimeter, BC is equal to 4 minus X centimeter, angle BAC is equal to Y, and angle BCA is equal to 30 degrees. Given that sine Y is equal to 1 over square root 2, show that X is equal to 4, open bracket, square root 2 minus 1, close bracket. I'm going to start by drawing the triangle ABC. So here is my triangle ABC. So that's capital A, that's capital B, that's capital C. The length A to B is X centimeter. The length B to C is 4 minus X centimeter. The angle B A C is Y, so we can label this part as Y, and the angle B C A is 30 degrees, so we can label this part as 30 degrees. So that there is my complete triangle A B C fully labeled using the information given. Now, we can apply the sine rule to get x equal this particular result. So we've got x over sine 30 degrees has to equal 4 minus x over sine y degrees. Right, now sine 30, the exact value is a half, so I've got x over a half equal 4 minus x over the exact value of sine y is 1 over root 2. So I can cross multiply. I get 1 over root 2x is equal a half multiplied by 4 minus x. Okay, so let's take this a step further. Expand the brackets. So a half times 4 is 2 minus a half times x, which is a half x. Collect the x's, so I've got 1 over root 2x plus a half x equal 2. Take out x as a common factor. So inside the bracket, we've got 1 over root 2 plus a half. This has to equal 2. So now we can make x the subject. So x is equal to over 1 over root 2 plus a half in bracket. And if we put this into our calculator, we get x equal minus 4 plus 4 root 2. Right, so what I can do next is take 4 as a common factor. Take it out. So if we take out 4 in bracket, we get root 2 minus 1 as required. So that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 2 and this teaching video 9.2, the sign rule. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.